All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So with this year's Halloween campaign, approximately a day and a half to two days away, it's time for us to do a little speculating about what we can potentially expect to get from this campaign once it officially begins. Now, of course, we are going to be using last year's Halloween campaign as a reference because I do think there's going to be, you know, quite a few similarities between the two. So without further ado, let's jump in here and take a quick look. And first things first, we are definitely going to be getting a new login bonus as well as some special missions just like every other campaign in the past and a new Dragonstone sale. Now I'm really hoping that this sale is at least a little bit better than the one from last year because last year it was 32 stones one time and 91 stones three times and that's it. That's essentially nothing but realistically it's going to be exactly the same this year. I'm just hoping that Bandai maybe has a little bit of a surprise for us uh, pay to play players. It would make, you know, summoning videos a little bit cheaper. Now moving on from there, we have the new summonable unit slash banner. And last year we did get a brand new summonable LR, the LR full power Frieza on a legendary summon banner. But this year I do expect us to get at least one new banner, but the contents of this banner is kind of up in the air, right? I did make a video about this a couple days ago, and I essentially narrowed it down to three different options. The first one is the Dokkan Fest, Angel Final Form Frieza that transforms into Angel Golden Frieza, just coming to global super, super early, because I mean, he's still live on JP right now, so it would be extremely early, like unheard of early, but if you think about it, he's the only unit we're missing from the JP side that would actually make sense for this celebration because we're not going to be getting LR Jiren or the LR Blue Boys because they're coming together most likely at the end of the year. And then for the Dual Dokkan Fest between Gotenks and Boo, that's probably going to be the Thank You Celebration Dual Dokkan Fest, which is in November, just like last year where we got Trunks and Zamasu. So outside of those guys, Angel Golden Frieza is the only one left, right? So if we are going to be getting a unit from the JP side, it's going to be Frieza. I know it's weird. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I do think there's a real possibility that he is the next banner on global for the Halloween campaign. The second option would be a global first unit. In my opinion, this would be the most exciting, obviously the best possible scenario, but I feel like the chances of that are honestly pretty low. But if it is a global first, I'm really hoping that it's an LR Kid Boo because everybody wanted one for the worldwide celebration. And for some reason, they just refused to give us any kind of a new Kid Boo, right? So I'm thinking maybe they were saving it for this occasion where, you know, there's a lull on global and they can drop this Kid Boo on us. It'd be extra sweet as a global mate, of course, to get Kid Boo first. But uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, Global First, I think it's possible as well. A little bit less likely than the Golden Frieza, but still a real possibility. And number three, the most boring, but probably the most realistic option would be essentially a set of legendary summon banners that feature some of the older LRs in the game or just like existing LRs like LR Baby, LR GT Trio, Trunks and Mai, so on and so forth. Um, the possibilities are kind of endless. JP did get a whole set of banners like that featuring some of the existing LRs that Global never got. So maybe they were saving them for, you know, this time and just release them all at the same time. If it is that third option, it would make it a lot easier to save your stones for like what's coming in November and December. So I guess that would be okay to a lot of people in that sense. But uh, yeah, that is the banner. Like I said, I don't really know, I wish I could give you guys a more concrete answer, but we should be getting a new banner for sure. And uh, from there, the return of a few of the Halloween events from previous years, the Candy Vegito event, the Ghost Tanks event, as well as the Kid Saiyaman event. I am expecting at least one of them to get an Extreme Z Awakening, if not all of them. But at the very least, if it's not all three, then the Candy Vegito should get an Extreme Z Awakening as the oldest of the three, but uh, I think there's a pretty good chance actually that all three of them will get Extreme Z Awakenings through a new Extreme Z area event, and in that case, 
I feel like it's less likely that we'll get a new story event with a new free-to-play Halloween unit since we're already getting the, you know, Extreme Z area with the easy A's. But we'll have to see since, you know, for the past couple of years, we have been getting a new Halloween unit every year, right? First it was Vegito, then it was Ghost Tanks, and then it was Kid Saiyan Man. So if we get a new unit with a new story, what do you guys want that to be? I thought about it for a bit. I don't really know. Maybe Super Saiyan Hercule or Apron Vegeta or something like that. Although that seems like more of a um, April Fool's unit than... Halloween, but you never know. Anything's possible, so let me know in the comments your suggestions for a new free-to-play Halloween unit. If we if we are gonna get one, we'll probably get like a Twitter preview in I would say like 12 hours to 24 hours. So sooner than later we will find out. But uh, like I said, if we get the EZAs, which I think is gonna happen, then we're probably less likely to get a new unit since we're getting that Extreme Z area event instead, right? And uh, the return of some, you know, different events, Extreme Z area possibly, and uh, probably some kind of a boost to the rank EXP for quest stages two times is most likely, maybe three times if they want to be nice. And uh, I think we're also going to be getting a new Extreme Z battle, okay? It's long overdue on Global now. Things have been kind of weird for EZAs. I don't really know why they're holding back on so many of them, but I do expect us to definitely get a new Extreme Z battle, either for Kaelin Khalifla or one of the Dokkan Fest uh, 120 elites, like Super Saiyan 3 Broly or Super 17. Those are really the only three options at the moment. So Kale or Khalifla or Kale and Khalifla would be awesome. Super Saiyan 3 Broly would be great too. Super 17 would be amazing because he is such a freaking good unit after his EZA. I mean, they all are, but especially Super 17. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'd be okay with any of those three. I just want a new Extreme Z battle on Global. It's been way too damn long. So uh, yeah, that should, that should be happening. Last year, as you can see, we got the Fizz Broly. And from there, a couple of story events returning. I'm not really sure which ones are going to come back, but we're definitely going to get some. So I'm not going to really speculate for that. And uh, also, if we do get a Legendary Summon Banner or multiple Legendary Summon Banners, then I also expect the Halloween uh, Pilaf's Trove Pack to come back. And this uh, Halloween ticket essentially gave us a big 20 unit multi with I think a featured... No, I think it was three SSRs guaranteed for this summon. Yeah, I think it was. I could be wrong. Correct me if I am wrong because it's been you know, a year, right? But I believe this Halloween ticket was for a 20 unit multi with three uh, SSRs guaranteed and uh, it was for the full power Frieza banner. So whatever the banner is for this year, the Halloween ticket will be for that banner. We do a big summon, a couple of SSRs guaranteed, hopefully gets you the new unit. And uh, of course, this is a Pilaf's Trove Pack, so it is going to be paid. And I think it was around $40 Canadian. Um, in the US, probably like 30 or so. So if you are going to summon anyways, it's actually not a bad deal with like the guaranteed SSRs and all that stuff. But obviously for free to play players, it's not really something you need to think about. Uh, yeah, that essentially was last year's Halloween campaign. There's one other thing that I do think, and this is pure speculation, right? But I do think we're due for, I do think it's going to happen. And that would be the 34th World Tournament on Global. Okay, so this one will finally bring us the LR Demon King Piccolo as the local reward, um, switching up from uh, Yamcha before that, right? So it was Yamcha for our last world tournament. This world tournament should be giving us the uh, Demon King Piccolo and uh, for the reward, I guess this 17 works or whatever, I don't really care. I just want the Demon King Piccolo, man. Like, he's so good for Extreme Super Battle Road, um, his art, is insanely dope as well so uh, definitely want to add him to my collection hopefully this happens i mean if we do get a new world tournament then he should definitely be the reward but uh, if not then i guess we'll have to keep waiting for another world tournament but the last one we got was a little while ago let me let me check when that was actually world tournament number 33 that was the last one for global and this was in july so we are now yeah, we are now in the middle to end of October, so yeah, we are definitely due for a world tournament. I think it's going to happen, so uh, yeah, look forward to that. I mean, be cautiously 
optimistic about that. Obviously, it's not guaranteed, but I think there's a really good chance that it's going to happen. So, uh, there you go, guys. That is my speculation for the upcoming uh, Halloween Celebration Extreme Z Battle for either Super 17, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, or Kaelin Khalifla. New banner, whether it's uh, Angel Golden or Frieza, or a Global First something, or a bunch of you know older Legendary Summon banners, and then, of course, Login Bonus, Special Missions, um, and also Extreme Z Awakenings for one, if not all three of the Halloween units, and possibly a new Halloween story event with a new free-to-play Halloween unit, and uh, of course, the World Tournament as well. On top of that, this should be a pretty decent celebration overall. And that's it, guys. That is the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with the stuff I said, or you guys have some different ideas for what this... Uh, celebration will look like and also if you guys have some ideas for what the easy A's for all three Halloween units will look like also feel free to post that in the comments but that's it guys that's all I got to say thank you so much once again for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.